Although this is the largest city in Tanzania and the largest anchorage in Yacht Club, there's still no convenient fuel dock for our giant catamaran. The boys figured out a way to not have to jerry jug fuel on their own. Filling up the boat because uh, it needs to be fueled up, right? We figured out a way to get fuel into the boat without us actually having to do the manual labor. We're gonna pay some dude over there um, on the boat, the taxi, to go in, fill up the cans there, and then bring them back. And Jack does one side, he does the other. Cool. Yeah. And how much are we paying him? Fifty thousand. We're paying him fifty thousand Tanzanian shillings. While they're finishing up the fuel, Keith installs the new Dockmate system. Ah. Ah, ah, ah. Ah. Dockmate, guys. All right, here, we're gonna do a little twisty here. <laughs> that works? Hey. Now we're turning. That works pretty good. <laughs> ah. Ah, 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 ah. All right, here. Let's try reverse now. Oh yeah, that works really good. Excellent. I was gonna ask you that. Drive the boat, everything right up here. Watch my anchor. Jason and Nikki, you need to get out of here. There's some plastic on my anchor. You need to get the plastic off of the off the anchor. Hurry up, Jason and Nikki. Come and running. Driving the boat. Oh, oh, we're driving the boat. Oh, okay, this is not. This is weird. <laughs> I don't know. How I like that. Nobody's behind the wheel. While waiting on packages and a weather window to head north, we got tired of sitting in the busy anchorage, so we decided to mosey on over to a nearby island. I've been wasting all my days Yes, I've been wasting them for years And I do my best to block the thoughts and hope they disappear But I keep on losing it just come to this little island here and uh, I'm gonna drop the anchor and I'm gonna navigate up here I don't need somebody on deck now to look for uh, bombies because I got this thing this thing is the bomb dog me I know I'm plugging them but it's the greatest thing it's like, since, a, it's like it's, a remote control for your whole boat uh, yeah I mean joystick I can stay up on front I don't gotta holler at the kids I just drive my boat all day long it's right an RC boat it's an RC boat I just drive my boat all day long right here if I wanna go over here let's go over here just looking for a sandy spot, you know. I don't gotta get all my kids up. The great thing is this dock mate 
works perfectly with the ZF drive stuff I installed. It's just plug and play. You don't even got to do anything to the ZF drive stuff. You can start saying plug and play again a lot. Yeah, plug and play, plug and play, plug and play. Nice little sand spot right here. I can tell. Because it's white here? Yeah. I mean, I just asked that for the audience. I can tell. And the, the nice thing is, because I don't have to... Jack doesn't have to tell me, you're right over the sand spot, yeah. you're right over the sand spot. Now I can see the sand spot, and with this one remote control, I can drop the anchor, raise the anchor. If I had bow thrusters, I could do that too. But I may wire these in for my davits on the back. Then I've just got one. Oh, that's cool, So to anchor these marine parks here in Tanzania, it's 55,000 shillings a month, 55,000 a month for boat, for your boat. And then for the human beings, it's, it's 162,000, uh, 162,000 for us for five a day. a day, 70 bucks a day to come out here. That's a little pricey. What is there to do out here? Nothing. There's no like fishing or oh it's illegal to fish in the parks oh. mm. so you know you just so what is the park what's the well, it's draw a, it's of the a, park uh it's uh there's some sandy beach right around there there's a restaurant thing you can oh. go well it's not really a restaurant you can just eat on the beach and pay a lot of money to eat on the beach oh. extreme money i was just tired of being right there around all those boats and people so, so we're out here now we, we pay privacy. we paid for our privacy out here yeah who wants to pay 70 bucks a day that's bogus. That's marina fees right there. And what where, services do you get for 70 bucks a day? Uh, I mean. Where we, that's why everybody's congested over there at that yacht club area. Yeah. Okay, there's basically a fee to do anything around here. You can't fish, you can't buy a drone. You can swim. We might put the dinghy down and do something. But, or, I mean, or if you're cool and you have long hair and you don't like it, then you can cut it. I'm going to give Finn an official Zatara haircut. Mullet pile. There you go. So we got professional that's, barber, my mother. Yeah, that's a good looking haircut. Turn around, let's see the back. I kind of layered it a bit. I, yeah, the bottom's a little choppy, but. Yeah. And it is what it is, a curl up. Yeah, it looks good. He has been his natural curls, so when it dries, it'll be curly and it will look really good. Should blow off. I don't have any, any hairstyling experience. Just Google, YouTube. Yeah. All right, this is just some pre-cooked chicken that I um, kind of marinated in some peri-peri hot sauce. This will be the filling for our quesadillas in a minute. Move it off of the pan so that I can put the tortillas in the pan, and then I'm going to put this in the on the tortillas in just a second. Put a little cheese on the bottom. Okay. I'm gonna fold her up. And I'm gonna cook her. Get nice and toasty on one side. Actually, I'll turn that up a little. And then I'll flip it. And then I'll make another one. And that's that. Oh! Actually, that's pretty good. Dad, how are those quesadillas? Very good. They are good. They're so good. I love them. Somebody's all hiding. Boiling.
enough. There you go. Basically. All right. Great day at Foiland. That's it. We're going back. We're going to go back. I got a Zoom call tonight. Yeah, there's no internet out here. And there's nothing else to do. Everything costs too much. came back because oh, everybody good. else wanted to come back. And you wanted to do something tomorrow night. Am Brazilian right? Jiu-Jitsu, yes ma'am. Is there a competition? Are you going to participate? There is, a, participate? there is a competition, but oh, that is gonna... on Saturday. Are you going to do it? I have to. Really? But yeah. Why? Everybody I, I, I don't have to. I could not do it if I didn't want to, but I, I want to go and I want to... I've, ta I've talked to all the guys there. They say your first competition always... You always get your... Uh, you always get kicked around a whole lot. Uh, you know, you don't. Oh, you're not gonna do good. But it's it's really, good yeah, it's good for you. You realize where you go wrong and where you can build. That's cool. Yeah. I was gonna say, uh, your first competition, you get your ass handed to you. But I don't think mm -hmm. you'll put that in the video. So we've met some people here and a guy my age, his name is Quint, he's 18, he turned 18 while we've been here. He does Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and he's introduced me to the martial arts. So I've been partaking every other day and doing that and I've really enjoyed it. And you're so, pretty good at it I hear. I don't know about that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, mom's gonna come with me this time, she's gonna get some film. She is? Yeah! Is she gonna do that? Oh, she's so amazing. You have a cool mom. Tonight is no gi, so I won't be wearing the uniform. I'm just going to be wearing this. That's what's happening. Yeah. I'm going to go. I'm going to go film Jack at jujitsu. You sure you don't want to go? You want to go, Kate? And you're not going tonight. I might. I don't know. We'll see. Well, the taxi's on its way now. I know. I know. Okie dokie. So it's about 7.30 at night right now. The sun has already set. No, it's about seven. And we're going to Braz Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Our taxi is here and I'm probably blinding him. No shoes? Okay. After a short warm up, they're given a lesson learning some new techniques. Then they spar with a partner and try out what they've learned. Alright Jack, so something uh, small happened, but this is actually important. You got caught in his foot. When you did this, his foot was kind of holding you back here. Even though you were collapsing him, his foot was in the way. Okay, so we're on our way to this amazing competition. Amazing That's competition. It's a fight for your life. It's MMA style. Mm -hmm. Are you excited? Scared? Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. It'll be fun. Nervous? Not too bad. Yeah, one minute around, uh, submission only. So if they tap out for uh, like strangling or arm bars or stuff, then you win. That's it. If you're like, if nothing happens after the four minutes, you're, it's a draw. How long do you usually last? No point. more than one. 
After getting warmed up, they're now ready to fight. Face each other in the gi four times, and you get to face each other no gi four times. So everybody in that group gets eight matches today. Go! Slap, bump, let's go. Chris has got his legs crossed. So he's got his legs crossed. Go. Jack is the underdog here. While most of these guys have been practicing jujitsu for many years, he's only been at it for about three weeks. They get because I can do this, yeah. They can still get it like that. Uh, this second, they get that. Yeah. I mean, it still works if your chin is down. Take it easy, Chris. Slow down. Slow down. Yes, buddy. Easy. Yes. Good. 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 Yes. Good. 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 Good.
Chuck, Chuck, Chuck. Yes, Jack, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Almost at the wrong time. I was, I was so close. When have I related? It was so good. I got one win, and that was beautiful. Oh, it's really great. I enjoy this. I love this so much. It's all thanks to the two coaches, X and Cole, and Quint, and all the guys here. I look up to so much, and yeah. The good thing about it is if we go somewhere else, I can find a gym or something and I can take like a lesson there. Yeah, okay. That's all I've got to say.